live from the Akchin Community Studios. It is Wolf and Luke on a Monday morning. We're going to do a listeners only meeting Wolf in like 10 minutes. Oh, boy. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. I'm ready for this right now. What, what should the question be? We've should... had some really good calls on these listeners the, only The bar meetings. has been set pretty high. It has. Maybe we'll just throw it out there and see what just general reaction is after that game. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's That's in do 10 that. minutes, all right. Okay, in 10 minutes. Because okay, I, I, cool. feel like, I feel like get some— Get your phones ready. Some people are, are frustrated by the offense, which I get it. Some people are really encouraged by the defense, which you should be. Um, some people don't want to win. Some people do want to win. <laughs> like I, that's a very like mixed emotions right now. If you're a Cardinals fan, you know my stance on this, and, and I, I I know that you're in you know the same line on this particular topic. If you're trying to build something, you're not trying to lose. And that defense didn't look like they were trying to lose yesterday. If you're going to go out there and play like that, you want to get some wins to to really cement the the foundation that you're laying down. Otherwise, this is just a waste of a year. Uh, but the defense yesterday, Wolf, it was encouraging because. They were the embodiment of everything we've heard since yeah. Jonathan Gannon took over. Yeah, that's well said by you right there, Luke. Uh, the defense played so well, save for the penalties, of course. Right now, let's not talk about the penalties. Most of those on one drive, too. Yeah, most of <laughs> Exactly. Let's not talk about them. We will talk about them at some point in time, based on this show. We will, as a matter of fact. I think the next time we talk about soon. them. Soon. Yeah, soon. We're going to be talking about those penalties and what you can do about those. But I really want to talk about the three takeaways and the six sacks and the fact that the commanders, the commanders, had 92 yards rushing on the ground, and that was an average of 3.3 yards per rush. Listen, this this fills me, and you know this. I was worried about this. I was really worried about this. This was exactly what I was worried about. If the defense could not stop another team from running the ball, and Brian Robinson Jr. is a good running back and a big back, and if you tell me that the the Cardinals cannot stop another team from cramming it down their throats, that is problems. That that are, there are so many problems with that. That that would set off a chain reaction that could unravel the entire the entire team and what you're trying to build in terms of culture, and suddenly you can't stop the other team. Where's your physicality? That's what we're talking about. And that physicality with J.G. and Nick Rollis and that defensive line, the physicality was there. I loved it. They went out there and they balled out and controlled the line of scrimmage. Six sacks on a quarterback. So... I was really encouraged in what they did. Zaven Collins post game talking about the potential that this defense has. Yeah, I think uh, you know we have our um, our goals in mind, and I think everyone played really well. You know, hopefully everyone came out pretty healthy and clean. Um, but you know, it's football, and you know things are bound to change uh, for sure. Um, offense give us new stuff every week, and we just got to go out, adjust, and be able to play fast and get to the ball. I don't know, man. I, I loved it. I love the defensive performance. There's something about just having starting to build an identity as a team. Now you mentioned stop in the run and and this is not a shot at Brian Robinson's abilities but like look at the next four teams they the next four running backs Saquon Barkley uh, Tony Pollard Christian McCaffrey Joe Mixon yeah what so, are you saying so we're gonna find out what's your point well, no we're gonna find Some out good yeah. running backs right there and good rushing teams I I think <laughs> I I'm, I'm optimistic about this defense I was going into the game yesterday now what I did not expect Wolf was six sacks I did not expect six sacks. I don't care who you're playing. I don't care who your your coach is. I mean, part of the reason I was optimistic about this defense is because what Gannon and Rollis were able to do in Philadelphia was it was almost just like a rotation of guys coming through and making plays. And Hassan Reddick obviously was, you know, the, the big name there by the end of the season. But they don't need necessarily to have a Micah Parsons to make their defense work. It'd be nice. Yeah. But uh, but yesterday was, was a great start in that regard. No, it was a great start. And again, they've got to follow it up. They've got to prove it. This is a prove it league. One game does not make a season. One game is a point. That's what it is. It's not even a trend at that. It's a point, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly not a pattern. Listen, um, the fact they had three takeaways and six sacks, that to me, those are numbers that really mean something. Those are numbers that align with what we saw 
actually in the preseason from this starting defense. They were playing very, very well in the preseason. But who really puts a lot of emphasis on the preseason? I know that we were. We were looking at, oh my goodness, you know what, here it is, the Kansas City Chiefs trying to run the ball. Yeah, there was some good gap integrity right there in regard to the, the Cardinals' front six, front seven. There, there were some great gap integrity with the starters on the field in that game, and that really encouraged me. It carried over. It carried over into this game on the road with the commanders who do like to run, and man, they were trying to put Sam Howell in a balanced offense. They were trying to do that. And the Cardinals' front six, once again, their front seven, did a great job. The six sacks, typically when you have six sacks, Luke, you win the game 78% of the time. When how do you, you have how do you, six. Did you find that, was that a number? Stat? I, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I literally looked it up. <laughs> well, because you just looked around the room when you said that. Like, yeah. it feels like it'd be about 78% <laughs> of the time. Exactly. <laughs> you thought I just pulled that number well, you were, You're not looking at anything right now. Okay, yeah. 78% of the time when you have six sacks, you win the game. You combine that, based on means, with three takeaways. Yeah. And then <laughs> three takeaways and six sacks. What do you think the percentage is on that? Probably it's about as, 94. It's ridiculous is what it is. And what if one of those takeaways is a touchdown? Yes. I mean, their only, I, their only points yesterday were a defensive touchdown and three Matt Prater field goals. Now, all of a sudden, you're over 95%. I think you're over 100% at that no, point. No, you're not. Oh. You can never give more than 100%, ah, Luke. Never forget that. Okay. <laughs> over 95% at that point in time. Look, um, the Cardinals' defense played well enough to win this game. And that's going to be encouraging going forward. And it started with their defensive line, and that encourages me. I just think there's something, you know, it gets to the basics of football, too. When your team starts to get good and they have a strong defense as the backbone of it. I'm not saying the Cardinals are there yet, but I'm saying build the defense as the foundation. And then when you start winning games and you have a defense that other teams don't want to mess with, that's yeah. football to me. And I just want to make this clear, too. I'm not saying the Arizona Cardinals are going to go out and sneak into the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying that. I'm not. But I love the fact, and anyone who's listened to me, I love the fact physicality is back, baby. Physicality. And, and we're going to fight you on the line of scrimmage. That's what we're going to... I can't, I can't tell you what that does to me. I don't think you have and, to. And you know, uh, yeah. this is no joke to me. You know, yeah, you can go out and you, I, I get it. They're not going to... I don't think they're going to win a lot of games this year. But you know what? They're going to flatten your face. Well, and just to piggyback <laughs> off that, yesterday's game was one of those games that, that was a win. And they didn't get the win. So, so they probably even less wins now. But the defense, the defense is definitely something to keep an eye on.